friends. I thought I would jump on and do a quick chat about December Daily and show you some of my prep pages. I'm still using this journal from a couple years ago. I believe the first time I used it was, I've been using it since 2021. It's so many pages. It's such a great value. Um, I miss getting it this year, but I'm just doing 2024. I use this ribbon so I know where to turn. I've already prepped three pages, the intro, the reason why, and three pages. And then this is just some ideas on this side. Some prior lists were in the back. This was 2022. Just scribble, scrabble notes, that kind of thing. Um, Allie did her big one with this. That is such a great value. Um, also, I'm not scared to use the pages, even if what's on it isn't doesn't match the heading, if that makes sense. Let's say I'm not, I ain't doing no holiday reading, but I could make any kind of list on here, that kind of stuff. So that's enough rambling on that, y'all. I finally landed on this beautiful journal I got Oh, I think I said it on my Instagram, but from the summer sale at Ali Edwards online. Um, I just love it. I started off thinking I was going to do six by eight as usual. Um, just couldn't get into it. And then I was playing around with three by eight, which I actually was liking a lot. And I'll show you one of the pages I created in the three by eight, but took apart and put in here. It just still didn't feel right so even though this has a ton of pages I was like go ahead and do it and just use everything like just junk it up and make That's it how I landed here on this journal it is so pretty but I do have to be careful because I'm I'm an embellisher so I'm watching this and all I'm gonna do is I'll add some um, glue there and just not close it like I've, I only have it like this until I'm done obviously and then I will rebind it with some ribbon but for now I'm not really closing it I only have it closed because um this video so let's see what I've done so my far. intro page I usually do something sassy and Christmassy here. Um, just don't have anything yet. Not sure if I will. So I'm just not pressuring myself. I know that I have plenty of time to finish this. So I'm just gonna roll with what I know I want to do for now. This is a old journal card that came with a December daily order from Allie Edwards, maybe 2021. I've just been hoarding it. This year I'm like, use all the things did not purchase a lot, but I have a lot. So I'm using everything, even the things I didn't think I liked. I'm using them to completely fill up this journal. This is blank by accident. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it blank or not. May Deco. So here's one of the pages I did when I was doing three by eight. I put it on a pocket page. So it was really easy to lift off because that's plastic and I just kind of redid it on here because I did like how it looked. All the Christmassy things. And I typically write on the right side. So most of this will be right side only and I will, again, use all the things for the left side. Love how this turned out. Only thing I would do, and I'm gonna check, is see if I can get more of these chipboard stars. I use the entire sheet on here. I would love to just finish it off. If not, it's fine, but I would love to finish the whole page. So this is just a deco page. A little transparent sticker, also from Ali Edwards. It came on this sheet. You're gonna see a lot of Allie Edwards because I was on her design team, 2022. 
So I have a lot of stuff. And then before that, I was a huge fan and bought a lot of stuff. I'm still a fan. I don't know why that came out like that. So you're going to see a lot, a lot, a lot of Ali Edwards. Very, very little Michaels and a hint of... Is it L Studio? A hint of... L Studio and what is that other shop I used to love best clothes Felicity Jane oh before she closed I bought everything that I liked I'm still kind of panicking because like when it when will I run out and then I'm gonna where am I gonna go for like neutral December daily stuff but I digress I'm rambling a transparent sticker from Ali Edwards sheet and this was a, I think, Ali Edwards paper pack, mm, maybe last year? I don't know. But I wasn't into the blues and the neutrals so much. But this year, that's all I want. I want all the things. So this is my reason why. And this is my word I'm looking for all the magic all the happy magic this december for no reason i trimmed the corners and outlined it with some um green ink the year again using everything using all the space pretty excited these are all from the same sheet these transparent stickers Okay, um, this was a labor of love. Did it in pencil and you still see some mistakes. I just love having a calendar in here. So I just kind of did that one night. That was like some craft therapy. And these are planner stickers from Planner Aesthetic, a Christmas sheet from last year. Just a little cutesy thing. And what I will do is um, this is not my table of contents. This is where I will put like holiday things or my regular planner calendar. And I just stuck on the fa la 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 la. Again, a lot of deco on the left and the story and memory keeping on the right. Because I have room, you're going to see like, some pages where it's just deco. This here, I'm doing my gratitude for day one it's easy for me to plan and the post it's just what i'm thinking so far it's easy for me to plan the weekdays because all i do is work so i can prep the weekdays easy the weekends i tend to leave really open because something may come up and i'll want to capture that and when i prepare i do put the days of the week so I know which days I can prep in advance. So day one was gratitude, thankful. Day two, um, again, I have space. So there's the intro page to day two. This was earrings from Michael's I got on sale last year. I just took one off, cut the part that goes in the air. Um, it was way too easy to cut off, but... It works, and this I ripped out of another one of Allie's December Daily Journals. Let me grab it. Hang on. Okay, this one. Um, I don't know. I just ha I haven't gotten into it yet because I'm still using the red one. I saw this page and I wanted it, so I just tore it out. I'm that girl. I'm going to tear it out. Um, there's some pages I want in the red one, but I'm going to leave them because I've been using the red one for a few years, so I don't want to ruin it. So day two is December 2nd, the trees. Here I have a note. I want to put my main tree in different ways. I've considered setting up the pages. This year I have a Grinch tree. So this is what this setup is. And what I plan to do is just... 
take a picture of the tree and this is gonna be like a pocket. Just kind of stick it right there, however I want to at the time. I put some tape dots to keep the bah humbug down and I can just tuck it in there like that. And I will story tell on this side or on the back of the photo. Not sure, cause I don't really wanna do storytelling on the left cause I just prefer the right but I have space, so we'll see what happens if I can't find something to put here to take up space. So my main tree, my Grinch tree this year, my daughter, my oldest daughter has her first adult tree. She's been doing the mini tree since she moved out, but we went to Hobby Lobby and she got a seven foot tree that's super, super cute and she, knows what she wanted to look like but didn't have an idea of how to put it all together so i helped her this year and i will put a photo here and tell the story here these were die cuts um i just kind of put on a journal card and stapled it left enough room so i could tuck it and if i flip it up a little it can be hidden right there Again, I had no love for this paper when it came out, but now I'm like, it's so pretty. It's funny how things change. So that's three trees stories I'm telling for day two. And then just a deco page. Did you catch it? I messed up. This should be on this side and this should be on this side. But I don't care. It's staying. Day three. Three, December 3rd, I'm telling stories about the gift wrap we're using or just sharing the gift wrap. I was going to do swatches, but I said, you don't have to swatch. You have plenty of room. So I took about eight pages to just, I'm just going to put a full page of the gift wrap. It's about eight pages front and back that I will do front and back. Um, and just used a whole bunch of threes. I did this in 2019 for December 9. I won't forget because I've only done it one other time. I was like, let me just do a three page and stapled a tab right here. And this I just did to use it. So I said, let me pop it up and I popped this one up as well. You can see right there. Or maybe you can't. Yeah, you can see with a thicker. Um, these I love. Where did I get this one? I can't remember, but they look like this. Here's a large one. And here's a small one that I use for the tab. And both sides are sticky. So this is the bottom. Pull off the paper, stick it on which i wait though and this is the top you put what you want to bobble on here and you just put it down love these i cannot remember what they're called i think i got them from scrapbook.com actually now that i've had a minute to think about it sorry about blue um but i like the way it turned out i used a three from everything that I have. I'll worry about regrets later. And again, that was my initial thought, but now I'm just going to use full pages to share the gift wrap. And I just finished this one, just a deco page to transition from the gift wrap story to the next story. And it's just this vinyl that I got off of Etsy, Santa Cam. Some people put them on a photo frame and put it up in their house, to, you know, tease the kids like Santa's watching, but I don't have any littles. This is my heart project. So I said, just put it in the book. I like the way it turned out. And I used some ho 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 paper from previous December dailies. And again, did not love this paper when it came out, but now I'm like, it's so pretty. It's so weird how that happens. So now I want to start making sure I do some more stamping. Um, as you can see, I outlined this page in red, or if you can't see, and I stenciled this. This is my 
favorite green from Ali Edwards, William Matt. And my favorite red is Redwoods. But she has a hunter green, but I can't think of what it's called right now. But I just used a stencil. Keep all my stencils in here. And her William Matt green. And went to town. And I love the way it came out. And I just used old washi to hold the stencil down because old washi is not that great. And I didn't want to rip up. This is what I do the pages on. I just slide it underneath. And this also helps with the embellishments that I add. Putting this thick cardboard here, I will always be able to write. And I don't care about the embellishments being smashed. That's just going to happen because it's a book. And yeah, that's it. Definitely looking to add some um, ribbons and Christmas clips and tabs and things of that nature. Just going to kind of go nuts. And then, like I said, reinforce this top page, which I'll have to do. Again, I'm going to reinforce this when I'm done and bind some ribbon. And this is what it looks like so far. I think I can go through these pages. I'm curious to see how far that I get. Purposely trying to fill it up, but yeah. So far, so good. I've been losing myself in this project and I'm so glad I have time or I'm making time to do it because it's just something I love to do and look back on. So yeah, excited to see everyone else's. I love doing these videos and watching them. So yeah, that's it. Wait a minute. I had, I wanted to show y'all. I messed up on something. Oh Lord, where did I put it? I did a Grinch page <clears throat> with these sequins. Oh, this is it. Duh. Let me show y'all. So this page is a redo. I did it the first time in the book. It was perfect, just like this. And I made this pocket and put it here. It's still a little sticky. Loved it, but the book, it's too soon for me to chunk it up. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Maybe I'll add it later because I already know the book is going to be nuts. But having this sheet was just too much. So I lifted it up and took some white computer paper. I use a pretty good grade computer paper and covered over it, cut it and re-stenciled because I did like the way that it looked. I just got to finish it up and these are from last year. I just love the detail. Do you see the little Grinch? Let me see if it'll focus any better. Maybe not, but it has a little Grinch head in there. It's just a fun mix. And if I didn't say it, this was off of Etsy. So just wanted to show how I make mistakes and revive the page. That's one page that I messed up on. This is another page. I'm just not going to sweat that. I just like the letters. I think that's it. I've been doing pretty good with my mistakes. But I'm one that will just find a way to cover it up. I don't dare tear sheets out of this because I am. I will tear a sheet out of a notebook in a minute. But this one, I think it will fall apart if I mess with it. So I'm not going to. So you could see how it's put together. If you've ever used this journal for memory keeping or December daily, please let me know how it's doing with the cover. It will be interesting in a bound book versus ring. So we'll see what happens as this project continues. All right, you guys, I am done rambling. Just wanted to jump on and share. I will now go look for other videos and I will come back with an update after I do a few more pages. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.